Okay, next up on this Tika build, we're going to do oh, just a couple of quick uh, upgrades. One is going to be to the trigger, and the other is going to be the uh, bolt handle, bolt knob. So first, let's look at the trigger. Um, it's actually, the stock trigger is actually a really nice factory trigger. It's, uh, it's very smooth. Doesn't have uh, a lot of creep or anything. I'm just going to check. This thing is definitely clear. Because uh, what we're going to be doing is kind of measuring with the trigger pull gauge. And I actually measured this once already. And I got so I have a whole bunch of different triggers in here. But the latest one was this uh, the Tika 3X or T3X. And I got three pounds, three ounces. But actually, since then, um, I adjusted this screw out, this uh, this little set screw out a little bit further. It's now out pretty much as far as it can go. It runs into this other screw, um, which I think is, is by design to keep you from pulling it out too far where it can actually fall out. So that's about as far out as it can go. So that's as light a weight as we can get with this um, particular trigger, the trigger spring. So we're just going to test that. Two pounds, 12.3 ounces. Pretty good. Um, I mean, actually really good for, you know, factory trigger on a hunting rifle. But I want, I'm trying for a little bit better here. Because I'm going to use this to, uh, to be shooting prairie dogs and I want it not as light as possible. Um, you know, it doesn't need to be four ounces or something ridiculous, but... I'd, I'd love to get it about around a pound, pound and a half maybe. Um, so I think what we have to do here is pull out the trigger assembly, which is super easy. Like it just sits in these hangers and then there's this uh, one bolt that you take out. That's the one that was in the way of the trigger adjustment screw here. So I believe... If I recall correctly, all we got to do is run this thing all the way out. There should be a spring in here. There it is. So there's a spring and a little plunger guy. So that is our factory spring. We're going to put that over here to keep it. And then... I, there's a couple of different options for trigger springs uh, for Tika. I got the Anarchy Outdoors one. Um, we'll see. This is my first time. Well, it's my first time doing anything with a Tika, so obviously my first time with this particular trigger spring. But we're going to put it in. goes yeah goes on the short side of the plunger and then we're gonna put that back in we'll put our set screw back in we'll put it in a ways a little ways and then I'll have to put this back into the rifle for the action. And we can see that the set screw can come back out a little ways. So we'll do that. Just so that we're comparing apples to apples here. I think that's about as far as it can go. Start to run into that bigger bolt. So again, I'm gonna check, make sure it's clear. It's definitely clear. And we'll get my 
my triggered gauge going here. Okay. Here we go. One pound, five ounces. Try it again. One pound, six ounces. One more time. One pound, six ounces. So that's exactly what I wanted. I said pound, pound and a half. We're right under a pound and a half. Uh, it seems to be very consistent. One pound, six ounces. And if I just try it with my finger, of course it's different without a grip on here, but just get a few. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty darn light. I like that.